Okay, you guys, welcome back to my channel. So, this is a collective reading, so let's go ahead and jump right in. So, the cards that you guys got, you yeah, got Seeking Answers, um, a baseball game could be significant, Damn You Sexy, mm, somebody that keep fine as fuck here. Yeah. We got Going to Court, so somebody's definitely going to court. Remember, I kept saying that this Going to Court energy just kept... Somebody's definitely going to court here. We got teacher's pet. And then we got go to the doctor, which keeps coming out as well. So somebody definitely need to go to the doctor, especially if a baseball game is significant to you. If you're trying to seek some answers about something, you should go, definitely go to the doctor here. Um, yeah, somebody definitely thinks that you find as fuck here. So let's go ahead and jump right into this energy. So, whoever this is who was seeking answers, okay, I kind of feel like they're telling you to be brave or to be strong in the situation. Um, you could definitely be waiting for some type of money or some type of abundance or waiting for something to come in here. Um, an opportunity, some type of money or some type of big abundance that you've been waiting for. This could have happened after some type of unfortunate events. Um, also getting some type of accident. But you could be unsure of whether or not you're going to get this money here or if you're going to be cheated out of this opportunity or this money. Okay. Um, and they tell me to be strong in the situation and take control of your situation here. Um, be, take, be, take, be brave and be in control here. Um, because you waiting around and you're trying to figure out answers and you're really indecisive at the moment. But... Um, it's something here that you want to invest in or that you want to give to. I kind of feel like something could possibly even lead to some type of ending or an unfortunate event or you just going, well, I kind of feel like you just want to know if it's going to lead to that, um, or something you give to here. But I kind of feel like some type of abundance is going to come at the ending. Yeah, and there's an emperor here in the situation who was like right and decisive about whether or not they should end something here. Or give something a chance. Because if you do, if this is a huge risk that you're going to be taking. But they're telling you to be brave in the situation. Because whatever this investment is, it could crash, you know. And this is what you win out here. This is the reason why you're indecisive. This is the reason why you're thinking on it so long. It's because it has the, it has the, it can definitely crash or it can definitely end badly. And I kind of feel like you don't want to put all this time and effort into a situation, you know, for it to end this way. You don't want to put a whole bunch, you know, all your pinnacles. Really, there's one big ass pinnacle and there's one, you know, towards this one area just to have it crash. So you could be a Leo, an Aries, a Cancer, or a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or any signs in your chart. Now, clarifying this baseball game here. Okay, this could be um, a child's game. Okay, somebody is definitely celebrating here. Um, this child could be the batter. Okay. Um, well, everybody is the batter, right, in baseball, I think. But um, you celebrating something with this child. They they was batting today, I guess. Um, so whoever this is that's celebrating, they was the batter. Um, yeah, somebody could definitely be, like, a little bit confused, okay, um, about, like, how somebody got so good or how did somebody um how did somebody get what it is that they got like confused about like their gift or something that they get in here um this could be a contract they could be getting a contract or something like that here um it's not, and they could be confused getting like so you know if this is like um going pro or something like that with the baseball this could be like being dangled, like um, different options could be getting dangled in front of somebody's face here, and 
Um, yeah, different options could be getting dangled in somebody's face here. Um, but I kind of feel like this is definitely a gift. Like, whatever this is, it's being given. It's worth being celebrated. This is like a contract or some type of gift or some type of like, um, what is it like the promotions or those type of things that you get like when you playing in sports and stuff. Um, yeah, it's those type of things that you get when you play in the sports. And um, this is a really good, I kind of feel like this is a really good opportunity here. Um, and I kind of feel like with this page of wands being in reverse, like I kind of feel like somebody is like doubting the opportunity or doubting whether or not they should go for this or whether or not they should take it. This is somebody's passion, okay, but they're not going for it or something like that here. It's because they're being confused. They're being confused by a lot of, like, things that's being dangled in their face. So, I don't know. Whoever this is, just be careful, especially if you are the sports player. Um, just be careful of people trying to, like, confuse you and tempt you and, you know, and try to push you into a different type of way or something like that here because... Whatever do you, whatever you're about to get this offer from, I think it's like a sports deal or a contract or something like that. And whatever you're getting, um, like endorsement deal or something like that, is going to actually, it's just going to actually bring in a lot of good money here. It's, it's going to bring in a lot of good gifts, you know, a lot of good endorsements here, a lot of good money. But somebody is probably confused as to like which one they should take. So I guess they're not trying to like accept any of those right now. But whoever this is, they are the better or they have a good swinging arm or that swinging arm is like, is that like, yeah, it's definitely that you feel me. Um, and I feel like they just won the last two games or something. The last two or three games. Eleven. Maybe the score was eleven or something about eleven. Yeah. So the zodiac signs I see here is Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, um, Aries, Leo, Sag, Aquarius, Leo, Scorpio, and Taurus. Okay. So, damn, somebody definitely finds you fine as fuck here. Yeah. Okay, they want to go out with you. This could be one of your friends who goes out with you. Y'all can go out drinking, celebrating, partying, or whatever the case may be. But they hold back a lot, okay? They're not telling you that they that they think you fine as fuck or whatever. But they could be, like, inviting you out to dates. Like, let's go out to the club. Let's go out to grab some drinks. Let's go out and do this, X, Y, Z, blah, 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 or whatever. But they holding back from you because... If they be paying attention, they, they pay mad attention to you, but they, like, this person is a thinker, so they're not, like, that type of person that just automatically go out and, like, you know, do crazy foolish shit, but they kind of want to secretly. They kind of really want to do this. Like, they want to just go and, you know, and be very spontaneous with you, but they hiding and holding something back here. Um, I kind of feel like this person could possibly be, like, unstable, or they could even be mentally unstable, you know, or have like a lot of different insecurities so this is somebody who like um they can they can be mentally unstable but it's probably like they look normal or seem normal but in their mind they always like overthinking or feeling insecure or crazy thoughts going on or whatever you know what i'm saying but it's like they're trying to get that mind together or something like that so they have like a lot going on in their mind so this is somebody that's an air sign they have their minds running a mile a minute here um <laughs> but yeah i kind of feel like this person is definitely holding back here they definitely feel like a spiritual pull to you or a spiritual connection but they hold it back here i kind of feel like this person is definitely like working something out within that south spiritually here you could definitely be working on this person or you could be like you and this person be going somewhere getting taught together like y'all can be in the same like school or in the same um work in the same environment or um, something like that. Y'all have like the same mentor. Y'all go to the same church. Y'all probably go to the same church. Or something like that here where y'all in the same group setting where y'all getting taught by like the same person. Um, y'all like in the same, 
um, AA meeting room or something like that. You know, it's something like that going on. Uh, but whoever this is, they definitely hold it back because they have a lot of insecurities. And they're very unstable right now. And I think this person is kind of homeless too. They don't really got a lot of money. So this is what's going on. Um, so yeah, they don't really have a lot of money. They kind of unstable as far as like finances is concerned as well. Um, they think a lot. Okay. They want to take you out or they want to do something, but they hold it back. You know, all this info, but they definitely paying attention to you and they definitely want to go out with you and they think you fine as fuck. So we have Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, Aries, um, Aquarius, Pisces, and we have a Taurus. Okay. So whoever this is, they got to go to the doctor. Okay. I kind of feel like this has something to do with like, um, your heart here so somebody should definitely go because i kind of feel like this is causing like troubles or burdens or something like going on around the heart the heart can be like tightening okay or that could be like something like going on surrounding the heart that you need i'm um, getting like this is literally surrounding the heart so this could be like literally outside the heart like the rib cage or something like that here but it's something going on that's causing like drainage or leakage or Something going on here, and I kind of feel like it's hurting the heart, or it's causing the heart to not be able to pump right, or whatever this is that's going on. It's surrounding the rib cage, or something like that here is fucking with the heart. Um, and somebody needs to go to the doctor and get that checked out. Okay. Um, yeah, I kind of feel like this will help you get a lot of energy moving forward, or. Something like that here. Um, you'll be very energized once you go and get this checked out and see once it start getting treated. This is definitely something that could be treated. Okay, or well, you could have been somebody who was once very energizing, you know, very, you know, somebody that was out here taking risks and doing what I'm getting. Yeah. Somebody out here just taking a whole bunch of risks. Somebody is too cute. <laughs> somebody is too cute. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Somebody is too cute out here, yes. With your pocketbook slinging and all that. I see you. <laughs> it's so cute. Slinging your head too. <laughs> um, oh my goodness. <laughs> um Yeah, so I kind of feel like somebody need to take their time when they out here doing all that. You out here doing your daily activities or whatever the case may be, you need to take your time and slow down. Okay, Miss Two Cutie. <laughs> Take your time and slow down, okay? Um while you out here <laughs> out here doing your daily activities. Um also Yeah, so somebody needs to go to this doctor here. Okay, um but somebody could be hesitating going to the doctor because they don't really have like um I feel like somebody is not um, very hesitant with going to this doctor because maybe they don't have like a lot or something like that. This could definitely be somebody who's like on a budget or yeah, this is somebody that's definitely taking their time in a certain situation. Um, this is somebody who definitely takes their time when it comes to a romantic situation or a love situation as well. Um, also, I also see that um somebody is definitely about to get a romantic offer here or some type of apologize apology somebody is slow to apologize and i don't know what the hell happened something could have happened at this doctor's office but somebody is going to somebody is slow to apologize and in this situation whatever this is it caused some type of like health defect or some type of health error or it caused like something to go on around this rib cage that's what i keep picking up like i don't know what this is, and I kind of feel like, um, yeah, I don't know. Somebody said to go. Okay, so I kind of feel like somebody, if you, if you, I don't want to have to go to the doctor and go into this situation. Somebody want to come and make you a love offer here, but I kind of feel like the reason why they're not doing this is because they was hurt. 
in the past here, okay, um, by somebody. So it's too much for them to even like make this offer. But I kind of feel like, you know, they want to like come forward, okay, and you know, offer something here. But this is somebody who wants to be stable, okay. This is somebody who don't like. They want like a stable, sturdy offer here in romance. So you could definitely be like um, just getting to know somebody or things could just be like, um, yeah, getting to know them or somebody is moving slow, taking their time or whatever the case may be. Okay, that's how you'll know like who this is. They got to go. It's something surrounding your heart. So we have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We have um, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, Aries, and Aquarius. So whoever this teacher's pet is, okay, that's coming up as teacher's pet. Somebody is feeling stuck, okay, and trapped in a um in a connection, okay. Um, and I kind of feel like they want to walk away from the situation. They really want to leave. Um, but I kind of feel like this is somebody who didn't put boundaries up in a certain situation when it came to. This love connection. This is somebody who definitely doesn't want to like. They definitely don't want to like protect this relationship no more. Or they don't want to like be in this relationship. This is somebody who let all that guards down when it came to a relationship. And this is somebody who jumps head in first with relationships. Or something like that here. And I kind of feel like now this person wants to like move on or move away. Um. Somebody had let somebody hold that car, too. So, something going on with somebody holding somebody's car. And I guess somebody had broke somebody's boundaries dealing with the car. I don't know what the hell that's about. But somebody let somebody take over their car. And this is a lover, okay? Could be a Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. But... Yeah, Scorpio Cancer Pisces, heavy cancer. Um, teacher's pet. Yeah, but somebody didn't set no boundaries when it came to this love relationship. Somebody is definitely taking somebody's car. Okay, you see the um the Knight of Cups and the Chariot. That's the car, girl. Okay. <laughs> They're all on stuff, riding on stuff. I don't know what to say. Okay, um, somebody could have had took somebody's car. A lover could have had took somebody's car, a Scorpio Cancer Pisces. Okay, yeah, but somebody is still feeling like stuck, okay, in a situation that they didn't protect themselves in. Okay, like I said, this is somebody who jumps head first into relationships and stuff like that. Like I said, you gotta let this person hold your car or whatever the case may be. But now I kind of feel like somebody is like wandering away or walking away or want to leave the situation or somebody has been emotionally distant or just acting like funny or whatever or distant for real. Okay, or always gone all the time or want to leave. Okay, um... Or well, something like that is going on here. So we got Scorpio Cancer Pisces. And we got Cancer. Okay. And then um whoever this is that's going to court, this is where um somebody there's no love lost. Love is lost in this relationship or love is lost in this connection. Okay, um, I kind of feel like somebody just want to be single. They want to break free from this toxic connection that they're dealing with with somebody. And they just want to be happy um, in this relationship. And I had went deep on Well, I had went deeper on it. And it's, you know, the reason why is because somebody was lying in a situation for no reason. Like, they was in a toxic situation, okay. Um, they was lying a lot. And... Yeah, they was lying a lot for no, for no reason, okay? Um, and um, they was in a toxic situation, possibly dealing with a lot of addictions. They was lying about a lot of addictions here, okay? Um, this, this relationship with this connection was definitely just toxic. And, you know, things had exploded in court, okay? An argument or altercation could have had caught a... Um, 
could have had took place in the court system. Yeah, but somebody definitely turned their back on this situation. Somebody wanted to go to court and work the situation out and balance it out here. But somebody's like, no, I don't want this merch. This merch is too toxic. I don't want to fuck with this merch. This person is a liar. This person is a stealer. You know, I don't want nothing to do with this person. Like, it's just too much abruptions. Like, too much abrupt, abrupt as shit going on with this person. So, is now this this situation is definitely in the justice system for sure and uh it's an air sign here scorpio cancer pisces okay somebody wanted to work this this situation i mean an air sign aquarius gemini libra somebody wanted to work this situation out okay um it offers offers some type of like passion oh oh somebody is burning wow somebody is burning it's the male because it's, it's coming up underneath. I was going to say STD over here. But I just didn't want to say it. And so I came over here. Yeah, it's the male. Um, yeah. It's coming up right underneath this tower. It's the male. Um, and also... Um, it's a, okay, it's a, it's, ar it's arguments or altercation. So I kind of feel like, um, there's an air sign male here, okay, and a fire sign female, okay, um, this air sign male could be the one that's doing a whole bunch of lying and arguing when it comes to this marriage, okay, I just see a lot of conflict and fighting, okay, conflict on top of conflict when it comes to them, um, this air sign male and this fire sign female don't have to be male or female, but I just see the King of Swords and the Ace of Wands here. Okay, and it's because somebody had went and possibly slept with somebody or somebody is burning or something. I don't know. But this is what's going on here. And, um, yeah, this is, and this is going into the justice system. Okay, um. Yeah, it's going into the justice, justice system. And this is, like, huge. So this is a huge change in somebody's life. Or, yeah, I mean, of course it is because you're getting a divorce or something like that here. But this is just really big, okay? Every time you get into a, a room or alt, remember this person, it's always a bunch of fighting. Like, it's the Five of Swords on top of the Five of Swords, okay? Because somebody is always lying in this relationship or inside this marriage or this connection. But somebody is definitely married here. This is a union, okay? Um. I kind of feel like somebody wanted to work something out or somebody wanted to balance it out. Okay, so it could be an S, another air sign female here who was trying to like come together and help work it out or help balance it out or try to help put it together. But, you know, help work out this union or help try to like balance this union back out. But the situation is just too toxic because somebody is just lying too much and doing too much betrayal and backstabbing here when it comes to this connection. So the zodiac signs that could be dealing with this situation is Capricorn, Scorpio, Aries, um, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, Libra, Aries, Leo, Sag, um, I said Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, um, Capricorn, Libra, I mean Capricorn, Leo, and Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. Make sure I got them all. Yeah. Okay. So the advice for everybody, okay, is we have you ready. So somebody is definitely ready to do something here. This could be for whoever that was who was seeking answers here and who wanted to take like a risk when it comes to investing or something like that here. But they was thinking that something was going to like turn into you. Um, that they was thinking that something was going to turn like bad or whatever, or turn into something destructive. I kind of, they saying that you're ready here in the situation. Things are going to happen within a perfect time in here for somebody. Okay. And they saying for you to take action. Okay. In the connection. So like I was saying, somebody need to be brave. Okay. Stand up, um, go ahead and go for it. But somebody needs to be brave and take action. Um, in um, in a connection here, this could definitely, or in the situation, 
We have extra angels, so somebody needs to be in prayer, okay, and praying, okay, for more answers, okay, and then we have the situation when it proved. So a certain situation that somebody was looking for, that situation is going to definitely improve. We have let go, let go of control issues, yeah, because somebody here is to control, especially whoever that was that was in that going to court situation, okay, um, but somebody needs to let go of the control issues, okay, and allow the situation to unfold naturally, let things to roll with the punches, let things go with the flow here, and then we have a year from now, so something could definitely be taking place within a year from now here. Um, yeah, this is something going on in the world. This is happening globally, like on a global scale, whatever this is, is happening um, within a year from now. Um, whoever that is, who's that baseball player, I kind of feel like everybody around the world is going to know your name. Um, especially because you're taking these endorsements, you have a good hit. Um, your batting hand is like something that i've never even seen before um but yeah everybody around the world is going to know who you is in a year from now okay you're going to be known all over the world um yeah with this year from now and that globe right there and then we have um it is important right now to take a step back and spend some time alone instead of placing your focus on another now is the time to give to yourself. So, yeah, now is the time for somebody to give to themselves. Um, it's not time to place your focus on another. It's time to place focus on self, okay, building yourself, moving yourself forward here. We have she is elated with strength and dignity, and she lasts without fear of the future. And this is a Proverbs 31, 25 verse, so you may want to go look at that. And then this one says, the Lord will stay with you wherever she Whenever you seek, whenever you seek him, you will find him. Second Corinthians 5, 15 two. Yeah. So the Lord is definitely always going to be with you. Somebody's house is blessed here. Okay. Your, your house is protected. Okay. You have like a lot of plants around your house. Um, you have a lot of greenery around your house. Um, but your house is definitely protected here. You can definitely do a lot of planting. I see that. Um, and you definitely have like a two story home. Whoever this is I'm talking to is a two story. And it's like um, connecting houses or it's like other houses surrounding your house. So there's like close to your house. Um, so it's not like your house and then all be down the road is another it's another house. No, your house is like su surrounded by other people's houses. So like row homes or kind of like, you know, it may be kind of like a little bit of space. But if you walk out your door, you can look to your left or right and you can see another person's house. Is what I'm trying to say without having to go too far. Um, yeah. So whoever this is, what I'm saying is, is that, um, yeah. So this is what I'm saying for you to pray and you seek him and whenever you need him, you'll find him. That's why I said they sent extra angels. That's what they mean. Go into prayer here. And, you know, if you're looking for him, you'll find him. You know, your house is protected. So, you know, you're good to go if you need more answers. Okay. Um, don't always come to result the terror over answers. So also you guys spending money on prostitutes. So this could be the reason why somebody has um, an STD because they could have been spending money on prostitutes here. And these are prostitutes that they meet online. Okay. They, they don't even know who these people are. They meeting these people online or they spending money on these prostitutes online. I don't know what they're doing here. Um, you and somebody else could be childhood friends. Okay, you could have known each other for a long time. Okay, this could be a childhood friend who was trying to like help whoever that was, um, mend this relationship or something like that here, but the situation just wasn't working. <clears throat> okay. Um, some of you guys, whoever that was who um see you sexy and they wanted to go out with you, but they could have been having like um they could have been having um, money problems or something like that. They can be a childhood friend, okay, um, or something like that. But they don't want you to know, like, they all fucked up or something like that. Yeah. Um, something like that is going on. We have, I'll pray for you. Yeah, somebody needs to be in prayer. Somebody is definitely praying for you. Okay, or keeping you in prayer, or this is what you need to be doing here. Okay, we have the death card in the reverse, so I kind of feel like something isn't over. Okay, something isn't going to end, okay, in the situation. Um, I kind of feel like even though something isn't working out, something just ain't over yet, or something didn't stop yet, or something just not in, um, something isn't going to end in the situation, even though somebody is not satisfied. So somebody is not satisfied in a situation, okay, um, that something isn't working out, but I kind of feel like 
things just isn't over or things just isn't going to end. I don't know what that even mean, but yeah. Um, but somebody is not happy, okay, with things not ending or things not being over for you or something like that. Um, and I kind of feel like somebody is definitely whipped. Okay, somebody definitely um is very passionate. Somebody is definitely into um somebody has definitely went into somebody very passionately here. Yeah, this is somebody who could also be a player too. This this giving me that um that going to court energy. Somebody is definitely whipped. It's giving me that devil energy too. Um but this somebody could be an Aries Leo or a Sag. And we have Scorpio here. Um and Capricorn. But Somebody definitely wants this opportunity here um, to come forward towards somebody passionately. They really want somebody really bad, okay? And they really want to come forward to somebody passionately. But I kind of feel like somebody is still just staying there, weighing out their options here. Um, and somebody also has a choice, you know, um, when it comes to this situation, okay? And I see somebody, um, somebody dreams coming true, like everything that somebody ever wanted. Okay, everything that God ever promised somebody here, um, I see that's happening for somebody. Um, yeah, somebody is definitely sad though about something that could have happened in the past, or regret something that happened in the past, or regret causing some type of confusion when it comes to, um, <clears throat> when it comes to somebody's family lineage, or when it comes to. Offering a commitment, okay? Um, somebody could definitely be apologizing for that. Or well, sorry for that here. That could be whoever that is who is having a health problem here. But somebody is like slow to apologize or something like that. Somebody really regrets like confusing you as far as like a commitment. So somebody could have been like stringing you along or something like that. Like making it seem like they wanted a commitment or something like that. And they really don't or they really not ready or something like that. Um, but I do see whatever health problem that is, I do see that heal that's healing. Um, that can also be something, whatever that is going on, that could be um passed down from generation to generation. So what is it called when he um uh, when he has something that's passed down from generations? Um like you have diabetes, your grandma have it, um, your grandfather, your mama. Um so this is what the health problem is. Um so, yeah, but I kind of feel like this is something that, you know, you can heal from or something that you can deal with here or something like that. Um, but you just need to go get it checked out, possibly to get, like, a certain type of medications or something. Because you could be on, like, a different medication that's causing some type of issue or something. So, the, zo the zodiac signs, other than the ones that I've been calling out the whole time that came out, was Libra. Cancer, Gemini rising, Leo, Venus, Capricorn rising, Cancer, Venus, Aquarius, Moon, Pisces, Sagittarius rising, Sagittarius, Moon, Capricorn, Moon, Capricorn, and the Sagittarius, Venus. So, yes. Yeah, so, hopefully, you guys got something from this reading. Um, go ahead and like the video. Subscribe to the channel, drop your comments, and if you want a personal, hit me up on Instagram, and I'll see you guys in the next one.